there we go. No bra. Hello, I'm Hannah Witten. I have massive boobs and I'm not going to be wearing a bra for a week. So I may have picked the worst week to do this challenge because the weather says it's gonna be hot. And oh boy, the idea of doing a bra this week in winter, I'm like, that's manageable because I'll just wear lots of baggy clothes, keep really warm, no one will be able to tell, like super comfy, cozy. But in summer, I don't know what to wear. I'm currently wearing my pajamas. Granted, I've just been working from home today, but I need to go outside um, and run some errands. And I, can I go out in this? I don't know, How, what's the side boob situation? No, I think we're good, With, mm, we'll see. Also, yes, I did just put that bra on in order to take it off for this video. So there are a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. One, just because I'm curious for the personal challenge. And secondly, to prove a point that it is difficult to not wear a bra when you've got big boobs. And there are multiple reasons for this. Comfort. Boobs are heavy, big boobs are heavy. Like just having them not flopping down constantly and moving around and causing, you know, a hazard, literally a health hazard. Bras are great for that. And secondly, aesthetics. Like my boobs look great when they're like hoisted and lifted and looking good. They they do not look so hot when they are just left to their own devices. Third reason I'm doing this is a bit more of like a fashion challenge because I wanna actually try and see what clothes I can wear with my boobs without a bra because I think I'm gonna be really limited, especially in summer. I have had a few days to think about this before I started filming and I'm struggling to put together outfits in my head of what I'm going to wear. Hence, the pajamas so far. And then the other thing that you should know is that I get serious, serious under boob sweat, like dripping because like the boobs just literally fold over and then like underneath them where they're touching my skin, sweat. So normally if I'm experiencing under boob sweat, what I do is once I can feel it's there, I'll like take a spray deodorant and just like shh, shh under the boobs. Um, but for this week, I'm actually just going to be putting roll on deodorant under my boobs at the beginning of the day, just add it to my morning routine. Just under the tits. And I did that this morning and to be honest, like so far just sitting in my office um, with the window open, but it's still like quite warm. I've been okay, like I've felt comfortable. Um, I've not experienced any tit sweat just yet. So maybe I'm like, oh, deodorant? I mean, you work on my pits. So why am I so surprised that you work on my tits? That was an accidental rhyme, genuinely. So I am really jealous of people with small boobs who can not wear bras or people with like medium sized boobs who don't wear bras and it just looks great. Like, oh my God, what I would give to be able to wear a backless dress. In the grand scheme of all of the problems in the world, this is going to seem really insignificant, but like this is significant for me and my like little boxed world is that it really irks me when people say how jealous they are of my boobs and that they wish they had big boobs like me. And when there's this like desire that like big boobs are better than small boobs. This is what people seem to think. And I'm like, are they though? Because every single model, every single freaking celebrity that I see in movies, everyone on TV, like I do not see people with big boobs anywhere. Like I literally do not see it. The only time I see big boobs is if that model or that celebrity is plus size or fat. And I am slim with big boobs. And from the messages that I'm getting, it's good to be slim with small boobs. Like that is it. Maybe the only place that you would see slim with big boobs is pornography. Um, but even in like most of the porn that I watch, small boobs, small boobs, small perky ass boobs. Ah, <sighs> that's uh, where my frustrations are coming from. If I've got like on the one hand, loads of my friends and people telling me that like, I've got this like ideal woman's body. And on the other hand, I'm like, but I'm not seeing that anywhere. Like I literally do not see my body anywhere. And I know I've got, I've got the slim privilege. I know that, but we're just, we're talking about boob size here. <sighs> anyway, I just think big boobs are really inconvenient and you're gonna see this week <laughs> why I need a bra. So I need to go outside. So I should probably change into something less like my pajamas. We shall see how this week goes. Wish me luck. 
So this is the best that I could come up with today. I'm basically just wearing this vest top that is a staple of mine, but with no bra. And to be honest, like, I don't think it looks too bad. The only thing is, is that because I always wear high-waisted things and on top of the boob thing, I am really short. So I have no stomach. The boob is like over the top of, like literally just about over the top of the top of my jeans. <laughs> that is how short, like I've got no stomach. Like if I was wearing a bra, I would at least like maybe have an inch or two of like body before we got to leg. But with the boobs down, I literally have no top off. It's just tit then leg. But I'm gonna wear this and just go. <laughs> and then no one will notice. I'm literally all boob on top. <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention in my intro, which is that when I'm exercising, I will be wearing a sports bra. Like, that is the exception. I will not be wearing a bra the rest of the time, but for exercise, I am wearing a sports bra because that is a real hazard. Right, let's go outside. Yay. I just got home and it was okay, but I've just like never been like so aware of my boobs before. I like, I genuinely felt quite self-conscious and was covering them up. To be honest, like, I don't think it like looks that bad. I have boob sweat, like, because I don't have a bra to like hoist them up, like just the, the boob sweat is happening. But other than that, it's not that bad, but I would prefer to be wearing a bra in all honesty. Look at that. Actually, you know what? Look at that side angle. That looks good. Look at that. Why do they look smaller from the side? Don't know what that's about. From the front though, it's like, whoo. Anyway. So I just tried this thing, which changes everything. Okay, so this is how I've been wearing it, da -da -da, with the boob sweat. So I thought, okay, what if I like hoist my boob up to get the fabric of the top to like go basically in between where boob is meeting the rest of my skin. So if we do that, if we do a little experiment, I mean, this is an entirely different look. Oh boy, this um, this is full on cleavage, but it, it, we're like making my top act like a bra, but no, this is a no. Okay. Oh my God, do you know what I've just realized? Is like, is this see-through? Like, can you see my nipples? We'll get flagged, we'll get flagged. You can't have female, no, yeah, you can 100% see my nipples because of the light. Right. <laughs> right, never mind. Back to normal. Jesus fucking Christ. It is day two and we're attempting a dress. So this dress was actually gifted by Posh Posh. Um, they're a women owned business and they make clothes with pockets. And it just arrived. So I thought I would try it and I'm currently not wearing a bra. And like, I'm okay with it. I know what this looks like with a bra on. So like part of me in my head is like, oh, it's not quite as good. But if you don't have the comparison, which you don't, like literally what is wrong with not wearing a bra? I picked this as well because it like comes up here. So we're not getting any side boob, nip slip situation going on and it's like a really light material. So hopefully I won't get too sweaty. And then there's this seam here, which is obviously where my boobs are supposed to be above. So I'm just kind of like whoop, pulling them above that line. <laughs> this is pretty good. Like, so today I am going out for a meeting and then I'm going to the theatre tonight. <laughs> so I'm like actually going out, out, not like running some errands, but we are like properly going out and seeing other human beings. Um, and I think this, this will do. This is acceptable. Oh, look, great. Why do my boobs look so small when they're not in a bra and like from the side? It's so weird. This is my view. This is, this is what I see. Hello, feet. <laughs> Off out for the rest of the day slash evening now. And I did get quite sweaty earlier, but I've cooled down now, so. We will see, but still loving it, still loving it. <laughs> hey! This is a very fancy party. I'm not wearing a bra. 
So because I think day two went so well, like I went out, I was at a party and I felt fine. Like, I think my only insecurity that was still there was I don't think I would have been comfortable like any full body photos being taken, but we're making progress. Because yesterday went so well, I've, I've gone even bolder today. I am wearing a crop top that is off the shoulder that normally I either have to wear like this, like, like this, or I just have to make a piece with the fact that my bra straps are gonna be on show. But it is a crop top and I've got matching bottoms. <laughs> I'm off to the spa, I'm taking the day off. I've had a very busy June, May year and to kind of pat myself on the back for writing my book and publishing the Hormone Diaries, I'm taking myself to the spa. So I will probably just be in my underwear slash bikini for most of the day, but this is the outfit and like it, it you know, keeps the boobs in. Let's see what happens if I lift my hand up. Look, it's safe. We're fine. Obviously, everything is just a lot lower than it normally would be, but I'm into it. I'm into it and I feel great. Still got my deodorant underneath the tits. Ah, <sighs> should I bring a bra with me just in case I have to like walk around in my underwear? No, I'll just get my tits out. It's fine. It's fine. Either tits out or in my bikini. I was at Zumba this morning and that was one of the songs for some reason. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go chill the fuck out for the rest of the day. So I felt really good yesterday, just in the crop top and no bra, but it was just a very chill day. And obviously I didn't film anything because I was like, not working. But even with the bikini, it's one of those ones that you can take like the straps off or not. So I didn't have the straps on to kind of try and make it feel more like I wasn't wearing a bra. But when I was swimming, I put the straps. On. But it was great. And then I went to the cinema in the evening and I just put a hoodie over myself because it was a bit colder and I just chilled out. It was fantastic. So this is day four's situation. I was feeling so confident. I was feeling so good after the last two days. And then, I don't know, why does it always not look as bad on camera as it does in the mirror slash in my head? Basically, these are the probably the most high-waisted things that I own. So, um, we just have serious like overspillage <laughs> with the boob. And like, even though I'm very comfortable right now, I'm not comfortable mentally. <laughs> Does that make sense? Physically, I'm comfortable, but mentally, I'm just gonna be thinking about this all day. And you don't want that with clothes. You don't want to like be physically uncomfortable in clothes, but you also don't want to be wearing clothes that you're like, <laughs> putting you in turmoil. Ugh. I really need to like channel my inner Chidera just saggy boobs matter. Okay, but we're gonna change. <laughs> but I think we're gonna go for a different Lucy and Yak combination. This is the one. You couldn't even tell that I'm not wearing a bra. Everything is just snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> These dungarees are from Lucy and Yak. Top is from Lena when she did a clothes swap years ago. <laughs> See, it's got a lot of wears out of me, even though she didn't want it anymore. I went to see Aladdin last night. Make way! Today is a leaving the house kind of work day. Meetings and hospital appointments. So, I feel good. I feel good. Hope I don't get too warm. I have put deodorant under my boobs though. So, there's me in bras. Me not in a bra. Of all the outfits so far, this is the one that my boobs feel the most loose in. It's like, but it's fine. Like I feel like the dungarees are like helping me feel a bit more secure than I would if I was just wearing this top. This top is so loose. It is like my go-to top for flying and travel days. So the boobs just feel like out of control, but I'm feeling good. So as much as I am loving this situation, it feels so jiggly and loose. So when I was wearing my handbag, that was just like here. So it was like making my boobs part even more. So as I was walking down the street, my arm is just hitting <laughs> the side of my boob. It was just like, oh, that's not it. I need to go to my hospital appointment now. And the way that I normally get there is cycling. I cannot cycle in this situation, but I'm also going to the gym later. So I'm just going to put on my gym clothes now which means sports bra sorry not sorry not cheating because i said i was allowed to wear a sports bra but oh, i 
I cannot <laughs> do um, a cycle ride like this. Just no, absolutely not. <laughs> It is day five, the final day, and I'm in another posh posh dress um, that was also gifted. It went so well the other day when I was wearing the cactus ones and it's gonna be really hot today. So I thought I would just do it again and oh, I feel great. It's really difficult to get the, the tits and me in because obviously, you know, this is the purpose of the video. It's just so comfy. I genuinely was not expecting <laughs> to go from where I was at the beginning of this week to where I am now. Like. I probably will continue wearing bras, but I think I'm gonna start like having more days where I don't wear bras. We shall see. So today I did a bit of work this morning and now I'm about to get on a train to Manchester for the weekend to see my fam. The thing that I'm gonna be curious about if this happens is if my mother notices. So I will update you on if she notices that I'm not wearing a bra and what she says. I bet I'm like hyping this up and actually she won't notice and she won't care, but we shall see. Jiggle, 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 oh God. I mean, if you didn't know what I normally look like, could you tell? Could you, could you even tell? I'm off to Manchester now. Hi. Hi, Mom, darling. What did you just say to me? Have you got a bra on? And, and yeah, and I said no. And what are you about to say? Um, I don't know, you need a bit of a lift. <laughs> I'm doing a video where I'm not wearing a bra for a week and before really? I... Really? Is before, it not sweaty and horrible? Yeah. No, I put deodorant under, yeah, to, oh. <laughs> under my boobs. Oh, darling, why are you doing that? Yeah, it's an experiment. I was, um, hmm. oh. sign language, you know, in this... Yeah. You could tell though, couldn't you? Oh God, immediately, I just yeah. thought... <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what is, is happening? Blues look so weird. Yeah. Oh. There you go. There you go. No. See the people who know. No. It's obvious. <laughs> so there we go. I did a week, <clears throat> five days without wearing a bra, and as soon as it was over, I put a bra back on. Yeah, I did. Ah, <sighs> we thought we'd made progress, but then the moment I could put a bra back on, I did. Currently wearing a bra and I love it. Would I be mad if I wasn't wearing a bra? It's, my boobs just don't look as good. <laughs> Comfort, fine, as long as it's not too hot. The deodorant under the boobs for the boob sweat works to an extent, but it does work. What have we learned? Not much, I don't know. <laughs> To be honest with you, I've not really gone on a massive spiritual journey of loving my boobs, saggy boobs, matter, free the nip, burning bras, you know, that spiritual journey has not happened. However, <laughs> I imagine that with more of the days that I have working from home alone, I'll probably be braless for a lot of those. And to be honest, like, the way that I'm filming now, do I really need to be wearing a bra right now? Because everything is almost like happening below where the camera <laughs> cuts off anyway, so what are you to know? But I have to say, I was surprised. I thought this week would be more disastrous and more difficult than it actually was. It, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting and there were lots of different options of outfits that I could wear even in the summer. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I would love to hear in the comments if you are a bra wearer, if you're a free the nip kind of person, like where do you stand? Are you just like, oh no bra let's please, or just sports bras, or do you bind? Like what is your situation up here? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Give him a twist, the flag of the wrist, the top, the sherman, right? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Trrr.